So now we are dealing with question number 23 of the set D of the IIT JEE 2017 main paper and we've been given a set that looks like this. So we have a set consisting of whole numbers from 0 to 10 and we've been given that we have to take two numbers such that their sum is a multiple of 4 and their absolute difference is also a multiple of 4 and we have to take two different numbers so x1 is not equal to x2 and now we have to find the probability that two different numbers taken out of the set satisfy both these conditions and also two different numbers so x1 not equal to x2. So let's get started. We take our first number to be x1 and we take our second number to be x2. Well, the smallest value of x1 we will start with that is x1 is 0 and note that if x1 is equal to 0, the possible values that x2 can take are 4 and 8. Note that because we need different numbers we could have included 0 here but now we haven't included because we need different numbers and so for x1 equals 0 x2 can be either 4 or 8 and so here we write the number of ways. So in this case the number of ways becomes 2 that is x1 has only one possibility and x2 has two possibilities so we get 1 into 2 is equal to 2. x1 is odd and if x1 is odd then we cannot find an x2 such that x1 plus x2 becomes 4m and x1 minus x2 becomes 4m. So for first number if we take the first number as odd we cannot find another number x2 that satisfies both these conditions and you will see that for all odd numbers x1 plus x2 and x1 minus x2 will not be a multiples of 4. So we will discount all the odd cases and so we will come to the next value of x1 that is 2. Now if x1 is equal to 2 x2 can have the possible values 6 and 10. Now when x1 is 2, x2 can be 6 or 10 and so the number of ways we get is 1 into 2 that is equal to 2. Continuing in this manner, the next number we take is 3 but because 3 is odd and we had already stated that for odd numbers, for if x1 is odd then we cannot come up with x2 that satisfies both these equations and so x1 or x2 cannot be odd and so we get x1 is equal to 4 as the next entry. Well, if x1 is equal to 4, the possible values of x2 will be, well, 0 is a possible value of x2. Likewise, 8 is also a possible value of x2. However, note that 0, 4 is already included and so 0, 4 and 4, 0 are similar and so we do not count this case. So the only case that remains is 4, 8 and so we discount this 0 and write 4, 8 as the only case and here we get 1 into 1 is equal to 1. Continuing in this manner, we next come to the next number that is 6. If x1 is equal to 6, the possible values of x2 can be either 2 or it can be 10. Now here the first number is 6 whereas the second number is 2 but we had already considered a case in which the first number was 2 and the second number was 6 and because 2 comma 6 is same as 6 comma 2 in this case so we can write this condition is not to be counted and so we get only one condition wherein x1 can take a value 1 and x2 can take only one value 10 and so we get 1 into 1 that is 1. Well now that we've got these combinations if you take x1 is equal to 8 then the only possible values that we get for x2 are 0 or 4 but if x1 is 0 and x or rather x1 is 8 and x2 is 0 then taking the one number as 0 and the other number as 8 has already been taken and we know that 0 comma 8 in our case is same as 8 comma 0 so this will be discarded likewise the next number is 8 comma 4 but we already have 4 comma 8 considered and so we discount 8 comma 4 and so we write this condition is also not true and so we get 8 does not give us any other x2 because we already considered the case previously and so here we get a no case that is 0. Last number that we come across is 10 because 9 being odd is discounted from this list because no odd numbers can satisfy these two conditions simultaneously and so we get x1 is 10 and now to find the value of x2 when x1 is 10 x2 note can be either 2 or 6. Now we've already considered the case when one number is 10 and other number is 2 and the case considered is here. So let's come to the next case wherein one number is 10 and the other number is 6. Note that here we have 6 comma 10 already considered and so we cannot consider 10 comma 6 again. So both these conditions are not to be considered again and so here also we get a 0. Well now if we count the number of conditions you get a 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is 6 and so we get number of favorable outcomes that is number of favorable outcomes is equal to uh, 6 in this case that is 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 and so we get number of favorable outcomes at 6. But note that we have to find the probability and the probability of selecting two numbers, two different numbers out of these many that is 11 numbers we know is equal to 
11 C 2 because we are selecting two different numbers out of this set of 11 numbers and so the number of sample points we can write number of sample points or the total number of possible outcomes is equal to 11 C 2 so we write a 11 C 2 here now when you solve 11 C 2 you get the value 55 and now our answer becomes required probability P is therefore number of favorable outcomes 6 divided by number of sample point that is 55 and so we get this answer for the total probability and so the probability that the given conditions are satisfied by two different values of x1 and x2 selected from this set that satisfy both these conditions is equal to 6 upon 55 and that's the answer to our question. So we will report the answer finally as answer to this question is equal to 6 upon 55.